I slept with the knife, the screwdriver, and the hammer under my pillow in case he would come when I was sleeping. He always knew where I was, and I, I didn't realize that he was getting that information through technology. It was me that he, he hated and loved all at the same time. Honestly, it was like my first real boyfriend. It was just everything that you thought a relationship should be. So, we got married. And then slowly, everything progressed. The name calling started. Every day you're stupid, you're a bitch, you're a cunt. It's all mental abuse. It's the controlling. It's like mind washing. I was never allowed to have access to a computer unless it was the one that was in his office. I mean, I didn't even know how to, to write a check when I came out of this relationship because everything was taken over. I had no scars on me. They were all on the inside. Because he was losing control physically with me, I wasn't in the home with him anymore. He didn't see my every move. He turned to the digital, and this way he could still monitor my every move and knew what I was thinking and knew what I was doing, who I was seeing, where I was going. He knew what I was wearing. He knew where I was um, driving. And he started quoting actual conversations, word for word, that I was either you know, corresponding through email, text, or actually talking to somebody on the telephone. He knew them word for word. So uh, stalker wear and what we call spouse wear uh, are, are fairly interchangeable terms uh, and uh, they refer to an entire class of software which is designed to spy on the digital devices of a person to whom you have, with whom you have a relationship. And it is designed to uh, run surreptitiously on, on a device you know, so that people don't know that they're being tracked. I've also seen uh, people, or abusers, using Find My Phone or uh, you know Find My Friends uh, in order to track their uh, their partners. Um, I've seen people set up secret profiles. I've seen people break into their uh, former partner's uh, email accounts and set up a forwarding address so that they can see everything which is happening in their email. And it's in the abuser's interest to make it very difficult to figure out exactly what they've done because that's what makes them seem omniscient and omnipotent and that allows them to have considerably more control uh, over their victim. She said, well, he, he was a hacker and he threatened to compromise my devices and my accounts and I was really scared about what he could do. He seemed really powerful. And that really affected me. I didn't want anyone to ever feel too scared to speak out again. Um, so I did what most people do when they're, when they're angry um, on the internet. I tweeted. And what I did not expect <laughs> was uh, like 10,000 retweets and tens of thousands of likes. I didn't expect my mailbox to be flooded. I didn't expect this to come up again and again every few months when uh, people would screenshot this tweet and send it around. 
And so uh, a year and a half later, I still get messages about this. I don't think that technology companies can completely eliminate stalking and abuse, but one of the things that they can do is they can take it into account. They can uh, use that as one of their use cases when they're thinking about who's using their products. Somebody needs to be in the room and say, how is a stalker going to use this? And how are you going to address that? How is uh, this going to play out in a case of domestic abuse? But the most important thing is, uh, is to empower victims and, uh, and to believe them. We need to change the norm uh, to understand that spying on your spouse is not okay and spying on somebody that you're romantically interested in is not okay. I'm taking what I went through, I'm building on it, I'm a stronger person, and I want to reach out and I want to shout to everybody that this happens, it's real, don't be afraid, you're not alone. There's so many of us out there and there's help out there. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.